All right, everyone. Here's the second battery pack with the key. Took it out of the backpack. Uh, I took the key out and put it into uh, the backpack when I was double packing my batteries here. Forgot to put it back in. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this back in. Just gently slide it in, push it in, and then it should click. There we go. Don't tell me this is the wrong key now. I'm pretty sure this is the right key. There we go. This one's a little finicky. That's what I noticed. But anyways, it works. It works. All right. Put that on, of course. There we go. We'll get the GPS going here. That's what you all want to really see. You want to see how fast the bike goes. Everybody wants to know how fast the bike goes. Or how fast will it go today? I don't know how fast it'll go today. Sometimes it goes 32, sometimes it goes 25. I guess it all depends on how much effort I put into it. It all depends on your leg effort. If you really want to know. Okay, let me adjust the gimbal here real quick. See how hard do I want the gimbal to be set up. Okay. Alright, I'm all set. Got the backpack on, but no water bladder. Ugh. No water bladder. always on pedal assist one. Throttle works. Okay. Put on a lower gear. Pedal assist. Uh, gear two. Pedal G assist one. Oh, GPS. G, G. G. So the pool, the pools are closed now. It's literally the last week of school. So all the pools are closed. They don't want people ditching school to go to the pool. So they, they close the pools up. So I'm gonna just ride. Uh, should I go to sports complex? Should I just gently ride? I don't know. I'll think of something. I'll just, right now I'll just gently ride. Just because it feels good. And, I, and it's starting to warm up a little bit so the humidity's kind of dissipated. It's getting a little drier. It's in the lower 80s. We'll get up to the 90s though. Or close to 90. Probably 88, 89. Pedal assist one, gear two. Just taking it real easy for the most part. I'll probably head back to the uh, clubhouse and just relax. Um, should I do some calisthenics today? Hmm. You know what, I think I will. I think I will. So, what I'll do today is do some calisthenics. I'll, I'll go. I'll go to the hill. They have an outdoor gym there. Just do some calisthenics. Do I do? Do I want to work out today? Actually, I actually want. I actually want to rest a little bit on the weightlifting because uh, I'm about to, I'm essentially about to leave and uh, head to uh, California here. So, you know, I'm gonna miss riding the bike. I'll still be making videos. I'll probably most likely be making walking videos, uh, walk around, uh, walk around the streets of Los Angeles, Hollywood, or places like that. 
uh, instead of walking or instead of weightlifting, I'll probably do a lot of calisthenics. I'll do some push-ups. I'll take some brisk walks. Explore the area. Explore the area. You know, all that good stuff. So I'm on pedal assist one. I'm gonna, this is a new battery pack. I'm gonna try to conserve it because pulling a essentially a 28, 25 pound trailer with a, probably an additional 50 pound passenger, you know, it takes a little, takes some power out of the battery. So, so I'm just gonna take a nice ride. Not in a hurry. The seat post I, is raised up to the maximum limit. So I'm at the highest point here, and so I'm getting the maximum amount of uh, energy going into the pedals with my leg extended out the most. So I noticed that the, riding the Red Rover is easier. I don't know if that means anything, but then again, if it is an electric bike, it would be easier, right? But if you just lift your seat post up and get a full leg extension, uh, you, you'll probably most likely go faster. But the drawback, what I noticed, is the um, when I go off terrain, off pavement, off roading, uh, the saddle hits my hits my nutsack sometimes. Kind of makes it uncomfortable. So, I'll go to pedal assist uh, three. There we go. Yeah, I feel like a, a champion. But I'm not really here to get cardio. So, oh, holy moly, this thing's flopping away. almost lost my phone right here. I almost lost the phone right here while I was chatting away with you guys. There we go. Get it down tight. Thank goodness. Every once in a while, you know, check your bike. Make sure it's torqued and all that good stuff. here to get any cardio although I probably end up doing some cardio I definitely burn energy doing this there's no no doubt about it I mean plus my diet is you know I wake up in the morning and I drink some water and I drink my nutritional supplement that's about it that's my uh, that's my breakfast and it's only about 110 calories Maybe, maybe a little bit more, 130. And that's what I'm running off. That's my fuel all the way up to uh, lunchtime, depending what I do. Calisthenics, more biking, whatever, weightlifting. That's the energy I have to burn. Anything else is excess. And I've probably been losing some weight, but gaining muscle, so Maybe my net weight hasn't changed. I haven't weighed myself. But I've been getting, according to my wife, I've been getting skinnier. Although, 
when when I look at myself when I look at myself I'm getting cut but at the same time my muscle mass is is growing like I can feel more muscle on me so maybe a combination that I'm getting a little bit more cut and some weight loss some fat loss uh, makes me look skinnier but I, I do feel like I've toned up on the muscle at least on the muscle so but I'm really taking it easy to kind of recover oh I forgot my I forgot my support my wrist support I forgot to put that on but I'm all right I can do without I just use it to support it but I had a thumb injury or a sprained thumb I'm kind of relaxing to recover from that there's the sheriff guy probably dro driving too fast so so I'm trying to relax trying to recover I'm 80 87 88 percent on my strength I can actually use my thumb to turn and twist stuff but my left hand is still stronger it used to be the other way around my right hand was much stronger at twisting and turning but anyways I have a feeling it's going to be a long process to heal, so I'm trying to uh, just uh, not re-injure it. I'm grateful that I can still ride a bike and still use it, and I don't think it's broken. It's just uh, still sp sprained, if that's the word, sprained. So again, not in a hurry, just trying to get to my location. Still want to get a good breeze here because uh, it is still hot and relatively humid for this this area. If you weren't from here, if you're not from here, you would say this is very humid. But since I live here and I'm acclimated, I would say today is uh, a little bit drier than some days, but uh, it's, it's humid. So I'm trying to get uh, as much airflow going through you know a couple of videos I went to uh, an area called Telfair it's a different community and they have a pretty extensive lake system there I scouted it I got a sunburn from that you know, the you can't believe it but it actually it, it the sun went through it was hot it, the UV ray was extreme that day the sun does shine through I mean the light goes through this shirt and it does give me a relative tan I don't know what the UV index on the on this clothing is but at least it it, it, it mitigated a lot of the burning to you know a lot <laughs> but I did feel a little tingle on my shoulders parts of my shoulder blade um, where my wrist is exposed, my skin on the wrist right here, uh, that felt a little tinglish. I didn't apply sunscreen on my face or my arms or anything, or my, maybe a little bit of my hands from putting on the sunscreen, but not on my wrist, and yeah, and I couldn't believe my shoulders got a little tingly, and I could tell that it's it's getting tan because it's, it's darker even though I'm wearing clothing so the clothing I'm wearing is not like a hundred percent blocks the UV rays but I notice it mitigates a lot of a lot of the burn um, where I'm noticing I'm getting a pretty pretty good burn is actually around my ankles I'm not wearing any socks um, I'm wearing Crocs with uh, toes covered uh, with the fabric it's not all plastic, so, and uh, that's to keep me warm, or, I'm sorry, not warm, but that's to keep me cool. So, 
and uh, and also, um, but that's that's where I'm getting actually a good good burning, a good tanning, a little bit of peeling too. So when I go out for a long, extensive time, like I did when I went to Telfair, uh, I put on um, I put on some sunscreen. Put on some sunscreen on my, on, on my legs below my knees. So, but the baseball pants does a pretty good job. It's breathable and it dries quickly. I was uh, at the water fountain and refilling the water bladder. I got water. I got my pants wet, but it dries real quick. Wicks away sweat. Baseball pants is a good option. I mean, and uh, I. I I'd wear shorts, but I, I want something a little bit longer than shorts because because I need my knees to be covered and also um, I need something that is also breathable, wicks away the sweat, dries quick if I get it wet, and uh, baseball pants. And plus, this, this baseball pants has uh, some elastic straps around the ankle, so I know it won't get caught up in the, uh, in the chain, and it tapers down to the ankle, too. So it works. It's like, a, it's like a capri, but it's a little bit longer. Nice thing is I can pull it up, and it, it can be a capri. I feel like a golfer's pants or something. Have you ever seen traditional golfers, old-school golfers, they wear these nicks? golfing nicks or something so and I know it's not traditional mountain quote unquote mountain biking clothing but you know what it, it works and uh, they were cheap they are like 14 bucks so I bought some the belt was more expensive than the, than the baseball pants I bought some baseball belt I bought a baseball belt that was elastic that was more expensive. That was like, I can't believe it. I paid like 30 bucks for that, but, and it wasn't even good. It's already falling apart too, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Let me lower it down to a lower gear. I'm just taking my time. I'm not, uh, again, I'm not in a hurry. Puddle assist three. Even though it's very warm and humid, I don't feel overheated. That's what's nice about an electric bike. And then, uh, again, my point is not to get cardio. I mean, I still get a exercise out of this. My legs still do feel the burn. Um, but I'm really trying to increase my testosterone. And how do you do that? You, well, get some sun, reduce stress, which this what this, the whole point of this bike does do that, reduce the stress. I'm definitely getting sun. And uh, I'm getting a little bit of workout, a little bit, a little bit of cardio, not too much. I'm trying to keep that minimal. Okay, brakes not squeaking. Wow, look at that. Brakes not squeaking at all. Oh, just slightly, slightly squeak. Here's a slight squeak. That's coming from the front. Yeah, coming from the front. Oh, I still gotta go. Good. And then, you know. Um, but mainly, uh, I, I try to lift weights, and I only spend like five to ten minutes on one body part lifting weights. Um, or I'll do calisthenics, which is my own body weight, which I'm about to do right now. And I, again, I only spend five to ten minutes. I don't, you know, I'm not going to be. I don't want to. I don't want to spend all my time in the gym when I could be. I don't know, riding a bike, being outside, or kayaking, doing something more enjoyable than looking in the mirror watching me lift a barbell or or something and uh, again it's it's I'm trying to just increase or maintain a high level of testosterone level and if, if you just do that I think uh, your body will take care of everything else for the most part um, diet maybe diet diet you know you probably need to incorporate some kind of diet if you really want to gain muscle or whatever but uh, 
I'm not looking to gain muscle. I am looking to get stronger though. I am looking to get stronger. Uh, so what am I gonna, what do I normally do? Hopefully I can, hopefully I can grab the bar. Okay, grabbing the bar is, okay, not, not too much strain on my thumb. All right, so what I do is, uh, I usually put my foot up here and uh, I can't do, I'm not there on the full pull-ups. I got my backpack and the body armor, which weighs probably 10 pounds on me. So uh, it's not gonna be like 100% easy. But here we go. There. One. Two. Squeeze when I get up here. Okay, this has gotten easier for me. Uh, let's do one-handed. Let's see how I do. Oh, oh, one. Oh, two. Oh, my thumb is kind of hurting right there, but let's try the other one. It is a little heavier doing one-handed. Oh, okay, oh, sorry about that. Okay, that was challenging. All right, next is uh, the dip. And I might cheat a little, oh, gross. What is that, somebody's, uh, that's some bird poop? Oh, I got bird poop on my hand, great. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. Uh, you don't, <sighs> hopefully it's dried enough to the point where I don't have to worry about it. That's so gross. All right. Well, okay, I'll use the edge right here. I'll try not to touch the bird poop. Gross. So gross. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. I wear it, I wipe it on my baseball pants. I usually wash those. You don't want to buy expensive clothing and wipe uh, bird crap on it. Okay, so I'm gonna try. My thumb still kind of hurts, so let's let's just give it a try. I got like 10 pounds on me, so. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, my my fanny pack is kind of getting in the way here. Oh, my thumb hurts. Oh, my thumb is hurting. Let me scoot in a little bit. Try to get a better... Okay. Yeah, my thumb is hurting. Right, as I put pressure right, right here, it's, it's putting pressure. I'm feeling it strained. Um, I'll try to... I need to heal up on that. Let me try something else here. Uh, I'll just try to do this. Do some shoulders, shoulder presses. I'm not gonna do my leg. Put this on six. If you had to put it in between, let me see here. We go. Hmm. Let me see. I think it may be. Is it like this? No. Nope. Okay. The way I had it was correct. There we go. I'm trying to give me the maximum resistance. Okay, I can do this. Pull it down, squat, push up while I'm doing this. Pull it down. It's 
not that bad on the thumb either. Okay, Whew. I feel a little exhausted from that. Uh, look at that. Look at that. They're finishing the tennis courts up there. Uh, looks looks a brand new. Look at it. They got blue. Used to be, I think, used to be red or orange. Let me zoom in here. Look at that. I think the courts were red or something. Now it's nice and blue. Look at that. They're also building. Um, they're also building a. Kind of like a mini clubhouse with the tennis courts. I'm not into tennis, but uh, I do have a tennis racket and tennis golf ball. Not golf ball, tennis balls. I'll go out there and I'll serve and do stuff. Uh, again, it's cardio, so I'm trying to avoid cardio. Not completely, but uh, as much as I can. All right, so next is uh, my leg lifts. Oh, I got the backpack on. Uh, Doing push-ups with the gimbal is kind of hard. All right, uh, let's just do this now. Let me see, change the settings to... Let me see here. It's like stuck, so, okay, whatever. Oh, I got the backpack on. <laughs> I don't want to take the backpack off. Okay, I think that's good enough for me. Again, you don't have to... You don't have to go all crazy. Uh, it did increase my heart rate. I did feel my muscles being used. And sometimes that's all it takes. Uh, I do feel sweaty. And again, that's all it takes. It doesn't take too much. Pedal assist three, I mean, you're pedal assist down, pedal assist two, maybe in pedal assist one. I'm just taking a nice ride today. That's all I'm doing today, is just taking a nice ride. It feels good. All right. Uh, let's go take a look at the lake today. Look at that. Really nice today. I'll be definitely kayaking out here as well. I think someone's doing some training right now. How you doing? getting kind of icky out there next to the uh, next to the dock so I was gonna launch from here if I was gonna launch from here um, I might put my bike at the train depot this is called the train depot oh I'm stuck come on come on <laughs> I had to give myself a little throttle so this is a train depot. I can probably lock my bike up here, and plus it uh, it uh, it's in the shade as well. They got this little timer with a fan on it. Let's see if the fan works. Okay, it's going. Huh, okay, just wanted to see if it worked. And that's kind of nice that it does work. And I'll try to show you. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see both fans, they're turning on. So that's nice. If I wanted to come back and cool down here for a little while. 
Oh, very lovely. Okay, they even have an outlet here. Interesting. Let me see what kind of outlet it is. Oh, it's just a switch. Off, on. Oh, right now it says off, but it seems like it's working. Maybe the thing's on backwards. Oh, okay. It tur it'll turn off eventually, but... Oh, the off and on must be the lights. I mean, let me check the lights. Let me see if they work. Oh, okay. So this, the light switch is for the, uh, the lights. Okay, nice, nice. All right. Well, all right, I might, I might use this facility for that. Nice. Okay, just wondering what it was. All right. Uh, all right, so let me launch out of here. All right, so let me go to a lower gear. I'm on pedal assist one. I'll go pedal assist two. And uh, this may be an area where I might launch. I think they, uh, the people who maintain the lakes, they use this area to, to launch their boats and all that. Let's have a look at it. Looks a little kind of murkyish. I wouldn't put my feet in there per se, but okay. Uh, all right, just just an idea. I'm not sure if I really will or not. Head over to the uh, the clubhouse. Well, this is a, another clubhouse here, but let's go to the fitness second fitness center clubhouse. This is the bucket pool. Man, it's gonna be fun when they uh, when they get this all ready and everything. And well, it is ready. Just gotta wait till school to be over. I'll spend the first weekend here of uh, the summer, the summer vacation, before we head to uh, California, and then. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably be there about two weeks. By the time you watch this, I'll already be back and everything, so. But by then, it'll probably be warmer and hotter. That's gear, pedal assist one, gear one, gear four. Okay, gear four is fine. I'm taking a gentle ride here. One of the things I gotta figure out is how to bring a uh, bring a putter with me. I guess I could just put it on my back or somewhere. I could probably figure out something. But uh, bring a little golf ball and a putter, three golf balls and a putter. When I turn right, I head out to the uh, chipping and putting range. And chipping and putting is free. Just go out there and chip and putt. I used to go out to the to the range and hit golf balls all day long, but not anymore. It costs money to do that, and uh, I don't know if I ever improved. But uh, I like I like to go 
putting. I think I like to go use the putting range. That's kind of relaxing, smooth, soothing. Put on them. Put on some headphones. Put on some headphones. Put on some headphones, listen to uh, some music or news radio or or just news. I like listening to news. I like to stay current, up to date on things. This is a lovely day to ride. Just ride. You don't have to go too fast. And I'm trying to conserve on the battery here. So pedal assist one, gear four. Enjoy the ride, everybody. Enjoy the ride. Or you could, you know, get yourself a bike, I guess. Or an electric bike, whatever you want. I mean, totally up to you. I prefer to get an electric bike because when I get tired and I want to go home, and remember, I, I didn't... I didn't put this, I didn't drive my bike to a location and ride my bike. I, I took my bike from home and I plan on coming back home to, with the bike. So, pretty much ditched the car. And uh, just ride a bike all day. Looks like I got a green light. I don't see anybody behind me. Well, there is somebody. I don't think they're making a left turn. All right, there we go. Let's see, just like that. Just like that. So what time is this? Uh, it's 10.39. I got someone who's uh, trying to make a right turn here. Maybe put a little faster. There we go. Right. I'm not in a hurry today, just enjoying the last few days while the kids are in school. It's gonna change my schedule. Next next school year my uh, my number two, my youngest, won't be going to that pre K. She'll be going to kindergarten to a different school. They only put her out here because they that's the only place they had room within this area. So so we took it. We said, all right, sure. Let's get her, let's get her acclimated to school. Let's get her all brainwashed by the goober mint. <laughs> oh goodness. Some of these crypto YouTubers out there. The goober mint. The goober mint is at fault. Always, what I, you know what I notice about the people who are an anarchist or a libertarian? They're always looking for a scapegoat. And it's always the government. And uh, it's kind of easy to blame the government because a lot of people have this notion that, that uh, the government should do everything for them. Well, that's their first mistake. That's their first mistake, at least in here in America. Uh, second mistake is uh, they don't understand how the system really works, at least here in America. Third mistake is they're too stupid to realize how things really work or educate themselves. You know, I'm just surprised sometimes the level of ignorance. And they don't even take the time to educate themselves. It's like, literally, you could, you could go on, you could go on the internet understand how the process works in your local, state, and federal government, and uh, you can take advantage of it. But yet, they're always complaining. People who complain the most, contribute the least, often are uneducated and ignorant about the whole thing. And uh, 
so they they contribute the least the least and they take away the most and often they don't even educate themselves uh, of the matter at hand which is kind of pathetic but in any case in any case and uh yeah yeah that's 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 <laughs> that's what I that's what I deal with anyway do I deal with you know and my my overall experience with uh cryptocurrencies is it's it is interesting I'm still relatively somewhat involved and uh but I find myself a little disillusioned. Well, I'm, I find myself um, somewhat disillusioned, not really, but I find myself at uh, in uh, perplexed by the the type of people that perpetuate this idea of cryptocurrencies and how they approach to to have this idea grow and you know it's if, if they're looking for a movement to grow you know you have to have I, I think uh, a, a noble at least a noble cause or depending how you want it just a very sinister cause like the end of the world or world peace one or the other one extreme or the other and that's kind of where everybody strives begins at and then eventually they kind of you know become moderate and try to be somewhat realistic oh my goodness did they put a tv out here did they put a tv out here oh my god they put tvs out here now oh oh my god i can't believe this They got the TV here. They got some kind of film over over it, but uh, awesome, awesome. The pools are closed, so I'm not I'm not gonna go anywhere. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna be in the shade here. I might even go inside. All right, let's turn the let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. But I don't know if you see that. Look at that. You see that? They got a TV here. And they got a TV here. I don't know why it's pointed that way. It should be pointed the other way. But they got it like here. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Alright. That's interesting. Nice. Nice. I... Me likey. Boy, I'm going to be spending some time here. I might just bike here just to enjoy this. Uh, this kind of atmosphere. Let me get my my VIP card scanned. I'll be right back here, or take you in with me here. Oh. Yeah. All right, very nice. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? I saw the uh, TV out there. Yeah, so they installed them. I haven't checked them out yet. Wow. So that'll be kind of cool for sports and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll be like, I'm thinking about just coming out here just for that. All right, looks like it's like waterproof or something. Uh, pretty nice. So let's see how much time I have. It's almost 11 o'clock. I have half an hour. Uh, that took a little bit of my time. Let me hold the gimbal a little bit so you can, doesn't move around too much. 
Well, this place is really uh, coming together. You know, and the amazing thing is they are, they're not really even finished with this yet. They still have a little bit more work to do, so... It's nice. Nice little sky shot. Not too many clouds today. You know, when you see all the clouds out here, it's really cinematic and very dramatic. That's one of the things I really enjoy about uh, southeast uh, Texas areas. Uh, the, the, the skyline, the, the clouds, they seem to just be everywhere. 360 degrees, like if you just look up into the sky, you'll see as clouds just just everywhere and this is just not a very cloudy day it's kind of actually pretty clear but on very cloudy days it's kind of really dramatic as it's the as you look around and they're so low too that's the amazing part anyway so i'm gonna end this video here hope everyone enjoyed their memorial day weekend i'm gonna be in the shade i'm gonna relax hopefully they'll have some tv tomorrow or something bye